Hi AJ, I have been following all your tools and techniques for our two years and I am part of your academy programs. I am working on manifesting my love back for a happy, joyful relationship again. I am doing all the techniques every day. I was easily manifesting call text before but not uh, but now nothing is moving forward. I don't know why. I feel negative sometimes. I feel like giving up and feel stuck whether I should let go without going anything and trust the universe or just focus on myself being happy and focus on my next career manifestation. The only thing I desire is that manifest a happy loving uh, married life with him, the person I love soon. What I have to do now, most of the times I feel hard seeing that why nothing is working even after putting a lot of effort. I have become more positive person and worked a lot on myself. I don't want to let that fail. I want to experience love from him and enjoy our life together. Please tell me what to do and guide me for the manifestation to happen. So first of all, if you are doing everything, if you have done everything, but still things are not moving forward, then like I said, why people do not manifest something? Either the vibration and belief are not aligned or they are expecting something positive from something negative. Means there is no alignment of that person or the situation what you are expecting. So first of all, you have to really, I don't know the background of the story, but uh, you have to really think that whether both of you were any loving relationship in any time in the past or not. Because sometimes this kind of situation happened when one person is very, very focused towards the other person and the other person has no interest or was never interested. So it's like you are pushing your love towards the other person and he or she is not really interested, not want to be with you and you are expecting unnecessary outcome from that person. And that is the kind of situation where you do almost all kind of tools, techniques, but it's not working. It's not giving you the result because it's not there. You are expecting love from someone who do not have love for you or do not want the similar kind of love even from anyone. That person may have a different mindset, may have a different expectations and they may be right in their terms, but the alignment is absolutely not there. So first, if this is happening for a long time and now you are feeling a lot more negative and overwhelmed with all these things, best what you have to do is you have to keep this person aside, stop manifesting any text or anything, trying to do anything. You have to do first, keep working on yourself so that your positive vibration will stay high. Only when your positivity, self-love will stay high, then the right alignment will happen. Second, do not delay any kind of manifestation just because of this manifestation is not yet happening. If you have goals and dreams in your career, in your health, in other area, keep going, keep doing, keep manifesting. Because when you stop everything because of one thing, then you put so much of weight on that one manifestation that that get crushed under that. So the more you manifest in any other area, the chances of your manifestation in your love life will be really, really great. Third, in spite of trying and this person is not responding or there is no alignment, you have to really ask yourself that, do this person have any love for you ever? Or if there is no, are you the only person who is pushing yourself too much towards this person? If that, then keep it aside. Do not waste many time, any more time. And fourth is start building a vision for your love relationship, your marriage and everything without keeping this person at the center of that. And let the universe bring that existence. And whenever you have doubt, tell the universe that universe only if this person desire and feel any way fit into this situation, then bring him in that way so that he can fit and everything will work out. If not, let him go and let's bring the right person who fit in this story so that I have the most loving and amazing relationship. The key is in relationship, we do not manifest a person, we manifest the relationship experience. So it's like many a times people are struggling because they are expecting love and positivity from someone who have no love, who have no positivity, who have no interest in living a positive life or a good relationship. So how can you get it? Uh, many a times, uh, like few years back, 
uh, someone came to one of our workshop and she was asking the similar kind of questions and I was explaining like if you are doing everything and it's still not working maybe that person do not want a relationship the kind of relationship or that person has no alignment with you zero alignment so then she was asking like but if I am positive but if I want why it is not happening why it is not happening if I can posit be positive people say if I can be positive then I can get anything I want right so it's not like that I told her like if you put your hand inside the drain and you keep thinking close your eyes and keep thinking positively that oh I am getting gold and my hand is clean and everything is right and it's not dart it's not mud it's not drain it's not all the bad stuff no matter how positive you are your hand will get dirty because you are putting your hand inside the drain so no matter how much you visualize no matter how much you be positive it cannot turn it into gold you cannot pull your hand outside of it being absolutely clean so what you have to do is in case if you have put your hand inside a drain and your hand gets dirty and now you realize it's a drain take your hand out wash it clean it and then go and search and find where you can put your hand and you get some gold out of it you can get some happiness out of it you can get some joy out of it because that's what you were expecting that's what you want to manifest so sometimes you have to really really ask yourself but yes sometimes the some relationship uh, are broken because of misunderstanding because of ego issues because of external pressure because of social pressure in those situation when you do the Ho'oponopono technique when you do the meditation when you apply all the tools techniques gratitude and everything the other person get aligned because the other person has also love the other person also wants to experience love but because of some con conflict because of some ego issue because of some differences now things are not moving positively and that person is holding on to that past negativity anger resentment differences fight but now when you do the techniques their negativity or resistance get dissolved if they have some fears or doubt of someone else that get dissolved and they get aligned because deep down he or she also wants to have a good relationship and then it works beautifully so that's the key of manifesting a good relationship of healing a relationship but where there was no relationship at all or where the other person is absolutely not in a mode of loving or had no love ever then no matter how much you try it it's not going to manifest for you so you have to do what is right because at the end of the day you should manifest a happy joyful magical relationship for you that's what you deserve and there are billions of people in the planet so if this video is an eye-opener for all of you let me know in the comment next go to the next question uh, this is coming from masses I am rich I am rich sir instead of I am can we use the word we I mean we uh, conscious plus subconscious can we so we can easily participate our subconscious for manifestation isn't it sir so uh, <laughs> yes you can definitely say we but when we say even I am especially when we are doing the I am manifestation of we are saying that I am manifesting and you are going to deep into uh, manifestation stage you are telling it to your subconscious and conscious together you are taking them together by saying we you are not going to bring them together now if you really want to program your subconscious and want to take it deep it's not about I am or we are it's about how deeply you can say the affirmation how deeply you can let the affirmation sink or the belief sink into your subconscious mind now how can you do that by changing from I am to we are it is not going to work like that for that what you have to do you have to be in a relaxed state you have to be in a positive state you have to relax and then you start affirming slowly deeply so that you can hear and you can repeat and repeat and repeat power of repetition 
to program the subconscious mind or to bring the subconscious mind aligned with the conscious belief is through power of repetition and one of the best time to do it is before going to sleep at night so we have an amazing video on sleep technique you can watch that video on our channel if you haven't watched it because that is a very very powerful way of programming the subconscious mind now second is like using the affirmation repeatedly saying it repetitively and saying it repetitively while being in a relaxed state is one of the best way to program the subconscious mind or also saying affirmation repeatedly loudly let's suppose you stand in front of a mirror and you start saying the affirmation little loudly feeling excited and positive so that it can go deep into your subconscious mind so if you want to take the affirmation or the belief or the manifestation idea that you have to deep into subconscious mind you don't have to change from i am to we are you have to do the process which will go deep into subconscious i believe this is an eye opener for all of you and exciting uh, then do let me know in the comment i have seen that 50 percent of you are not yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon so that you can get all the notification like comment and share it with other people so that the so that youtube will recommend our video to more and more people lots of love lots of gratitude to you if you are loving this series do let me know in the comment thank you so much